In capacitance but against the charge on the rotator. Yeah, the capacitance is changing. So when the capacitance goes down, the potential has to go up to keep the flux constant. Right. So, so in other words, it doesn't need anything. Uh, you don't need to pre-charge. You the, shouldn't. Yeah, right. So it just makes it well, what stronger. Well, flux in the first place if there's the residual. This, this is flux. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, that's right. Anything so, is flux. So what are we looking at here? Right. So there's a stator and a rotor. So it's push-pull. See, there's a A stator and a B stator. Okay. And then there's a rotor in between that connects the two together. Mm -hmm. So what it is, it's a high-speed variable capacitor. So it increases and decreases capacitance yeah. as you rotate it. Right. And these are 180 degrees opposite. Well, right. yes, they right? are. So this this one becomes high capacitance, and this one becomes hey, low he capacitance. Have it, does he have it skewed like that? Absolutely. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then it's got a little. And deep. then it goes so it goes back and forth, and it's got three it's got three arms in it. So every time it goes around, it goes through three full cycles. Okay. Well, that that could cause it to behave a little differently. And then this little DC motor yeah, that that turns that it. turns it. Right. This thing was a son of a bitch to balance. Oh God, I'm sure. <laughs> See, he had that. Chris had that painstaking oh. patience. He was the Taurus. God, he would just, just this assembly right here, which you look at, Took this months. could have, yes, it could have taken very many hours. Months. Yeah. So the um, output here, is this like an alternating high voltage electrostatic yeah. potential? Yeah. Yep. Just at what Pulsating, kind, probably. At what kind of well, voltage with what kind of RPM? Well, I don't know. It depends yeah. on how much uh, flux is in it initially. The more flux you have in it, the more potential you're going to get. And so this is a low drag, drag generator where you could well, short it out, drag. take There's it. Well, I mean, that, those things, it's hard to determine because it's so small. But, but he had a whole a set of meters that went okay. with this. Yeah. And he had his idea, but, but you know he never wrote that stuff down. So if you measured the RPM as you're rotating, turning the motor with a DC source... And you got the RPM, and if you start to pull something off of it and the RPM doesn't change... Well, you should be able to fire this thing up and put... Well, but see, the thing is, because it's got a... See, because it's it's skewed, it might not work as an electrostatic generator. Well, see, my, my, my understanding of it was, was it is a, is a, it's a, <clears throat> a, a variable capacitance oscillator. In other words, did he talk to you about it? Absolutely. Oh, he did. Oh, yeah. Okay. And uh, basically, what he told me was that that he put five thousand volts on, on the center. On the center. Okay. Okay. Yeah, well, that makes and, sense. And yeah. then, then, then it would either interact or not interact as much with each of the halves in oscillation. Okay. So that he could get a a a, a, a an, an oscillation to jump back and forth between oh, the sides. Okay. And my thought was is that if you could, if you could, um, but you could put a voltage on this just by putting a, you well, know, we, a we an elevator. Want to, we don't want to use the word voltage. We want to use the word potential. Potential. If you get put a potential. The voltage, try to get that word out right. of it. It's because either electromotive force or potential. Or, not and, uh, right. or it's potential. They're right. not the same. Right, exactly. So this is potential. Yeah, the other because thing that is electromotive force. Correct. Right, that's what yeah. you get out of a moving magnet stuff. Yeah. yeah, right. This is potential. Right. Okay, so so basically you could you could fire this thing up with just an elevated wire. Yeah, or with what's just in it. What's in it is yeah. a, is something yeah. exactly. You mean without applying five thousand? Well, yeah. I mean you could apply five thousand from okay. the atmosphere yeah. or right. any right, right, other. Right, right. You know, yeah. um, that's the whole point. And that's a that, steady electrostatic potential, yeah. not no, not pulsing or anything. Do, all you want to do is is tell this capacitor if you've got five thousand volts on one side, which is the the mm -hmm. rotating section, and and the other side is able to swing when when they when they come into alignment. What happens is it creates a capacitor that has five thousand volts on one side and. A relative nothing on the other side, which is going to push all the charges over to here, and then when this thing disengages, then the, the charges flow back. So, so this thing gets in a big push pull thing, and because the the now these are all just picofarad you know arrangements. But yeah, probably about five hundred picofarads each. When it's when it's engaged, Close, yeah, when yeah. it's when it's what's it, when it's engaged and when it's not, it's probably twenty five or no, something. No, maybe. A hundred? You think it's higher no, than twenty-five? Fifty, maybe. Okay, fine. Yeah. yeah okay. October two thousand. That's when he built this. Or yeah, finished that's it when or... he signed it. That means that that We're done. he was. That meant that was the day he was happy with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but um, so where do you put the five thousand volts on? Here. There's a terminal right you there. You put it on. You put it on the against central. ground. Right. Or against, against the center tap. See, that's the question. What? 
No, no, I think it, I think yeah, the whole Yeah, but it's only one wire. There's got to be another one. Does it go to Earth? Or does well, it no, go... Well, no, yeah, the other side or is... Or does it go to a neutral that this connects to? Well, my understanding was all you had to do is put, put like, just a static potential at this end. It was as if... It, with this respect was, to Earth. With respect to Earth. Okay. Exactly. Right. And then, and then by rotating it, it would cause a fluctuation of voltage in this circuit. Yeah. Mm. That was my understanding. Right. But then there was like four or five meters and a bunch of other shit on the outside. Right. That, I never, I didn't get the meters when, when, he, when he died, and Nina kind of put out the word. Yeah. You know, we're, I've got all this stuff. This is the only thing I asked for because yeah. I knew this was the most important. Okay. Every single thing should have been removed from there and put in a storage locker. Yeah. That place was a gold mine of yeah. stuff. Yeah. Where was it? Santa, Santa Barbara. Barbara. Mm -hmm. So is it possible that the output on this is enough that it can feed back to the front and turn the motor and? No. Yeah. Whatever would come out of this thing would be milliwatts. But then, who knows, you know? The, the whole thing is, is to try to correlate, you know, is the energy coming out of here coming out of the motor, or is it coming out of some kind of... See, this is the, is the variable uh, parameter variation. That was right. the whole idea, is, was to produce is, the parameter variation. Right. You know, like the stuff I'm talking about with the vibrator in my car and all that. But this is the actual parameter <clears> variation, <throat> not just connecting capacitors. Mm -hmm. This is a real parameter variation. Right. So, I mean, this is the analog to the variable reluctance machines. Right. Yeah. And, the, and the variable inductance machines. This is the variable capacitance yeah. machine. Yeah. So, which my, is, my idea was is the two really have to be merged together to have a machine that, that synthesizes electricity. Right. So the one electricity is both. Right. You can't. You know, this is just it's either it's one potential or the other. Right. It's not energy yet. But that was the concept, and then the uh, then the quake showed up and and fucked with his head, and uh, I warned him that you know that Al Bilek is stay away from that guy. Oh, it's evil. And they had him. Uh, they got him into that Swiss ML converter, which is some kind of uh, flypaper, and he got stuck to it, and he started getting really goofy. Did Change. you try to build one? Yeah. Oh, Don't God. you remember the time he wasted on that shed? I was gone by then. I, okay. I, I, I moved out of Santa Barbara in 91. Oh. So You're that talking was about... all before, but, but yeah. he had this machine operating before I left. Yeah. But um, even well, though it's it's it's... This was the last sensible thing that he built. Right. And then, before, then we had all the analog things, uh, the networks, the longitudinal networks, and right. all that. As I built some really nice ones there, I glued all the. We took yard yardsticks, Van Tassel's yard. Van Tassel had a bale of yardsticks that all those coils and everything were all made out of Van right. Tassel's bale of yardsticks for yeah. making coils. Yeah. So, so when you say merging them, are you talking about the motor that you built with Chris? Or, uh, no, I mean, uh, Michael Mike, Knox. Mike, Mike Knox. So that yeah, would the produce. Thing is, is that, that when you when you when you vary uh -huh. when you mechanically vary a magnetic <clears throat> field flux, um, that tends to produce currents. This pr tends to produce voltages. Uh -huh. And what he's saying is that you need them both. Well, right. no, it's actually it's the other way around. What do you mean? Oh, because this one this this generates displacement current. Okay. And the other thing uh, creates electromotive force. Right. Okay. Right. Together. You have to build it all into the same machine, and then and then combine the you combine the, them somehow. Uh, right. Somehow. Yeah. That's... I mean, I can't just pull this shit out of my head. Of course you can. <laughs> well, I could at one time. But, you know, I'm not depending on that. I... Well, it's simple. Yeah. So the, the the contacts for the driving the motor are right here and here. Um, so that's that's a simple you know connect it, and that's obviously just a DC brush style you know ordinary motor. Um, so that's how to turn it. That's not a big deal. I don't see any, uh, uh, you know, you could put a, an optical spot on this black uh, thing here so you could get a, a sense of, you've, you've got a, op, you know, a photo tack, don't you? So um, you can, you can uh, figure out the RPMs pretty easy. Um, thing still runs pretty smooth, mm -hmm. although probably a, a drop uh, of oil well, in the, the, in the bearings shoulder. wouldn't hurt. And, um, yeah, then have at it. See what see what you can find out about it, as far as what it's doing. 
you know, when I got it, I, I got in touch with you and I asked you if you wanted the thing, and, and you just said, no, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, so, I was had my own problems because Walter died and I had to figure out what in the hell I was, what was going to happen out there. Exactly. So, anyway, I'm glad you know, this that, moment is finally yeah, coming. Yeah, click it. Yeah, put those <laughs> Just to see if it does. <laughs> this is just a 12-volt tw power supply, and... Right in there, yeah, we got yeah. positive on the top and negative on the bottom. A little electrostatic voltmeter. So I'm going to turn the those things anymore. power on and... Sounds right up. Pretty quiet. Yeah, yeah. yeah oh, neon bulb. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a 100 volt meter right there. Yeah. You, 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 got, a, you got some neons? Neon here? I do. Um, you cut one of these off? No. I think that box up there... Has this? a whole bag of neons in it. This? I, I think, yeah. Pretty sure. You said you got another little. You got to put something in. You got to give it something to us. Yeah. So it's an LED. Plus, it's really not going that yeah. fast either. Right. But I, I, I would lose. But the thing is, that was the whole point: before. is that the the, yeah. the speed wasn't the issue. The the, yeah. the priming voltage would create the oscillation, and the speed yeah. was just how many times it does it a second. So. Uh, that was my understanding. We got nothing for the for the input. Not right now. Got to put a couple thousand volts.